Hey folks, this is Vincent Adelie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Antidote. This is a game for 2-7 to seven players, it's for ages 13 and up, and the average play time is 20-30 to 30 minutes. This is a game that I covered a while back, but this is Adelie's first time playing. This is a very light deduction game where players will have a hand of cards, and throughout the round they'll be discarding cards and transferring cards between each other, trying to find the identity of the hidden toxin. At the beginning of the game, you're going to uh, include a number of toxins depending on the number of players. These are all toxins, okay? And one of these cards will be removed at random unseen. And let's just see, I, I won't know what this is, but let's just say that I randomly remove this one from play. This is the toxin that we are trying to find the cure for separately. Okay, the rest of these toxin cards will be included with the rest of the cards from the deck. So I'll have some information. If I see it in my hand, then I'll know it's not that. Similar to like Clue, where in Clue you pull out, you know, the person, the weapon, and the room ahead of time. And as you see cards in your hand, you'll deduce that it's not it. Well, it's kind of similar to that. This is the hidden card that we're trying to find the identity of, and we're going to be using information that we collect throughout the round in order to try and figure out what that is. Now, we start with a lot of, a lot of cards in our hands, and we're going to be playing cards and transferring cards, and the round ends when we're down to a single card. That one single card, if it is the antidote to this particular toxin, we win and score points. Well, that player wins and score points. So if Ida Lee had the appropriate antidote in her hand as her last card, and it matched this toxin, she wins. If I had, say, the green antidote in my hand, thinking it was green instead of blue, I would lose, and I would uh, lose points and not score anything. And the game is played over three rounds, and whoever has the most points at the end of that all wins. All right, so uh, as far as, like, setup, what you're going to do is include a number of these toxic cards based on the player count. There is a uh, chart in the rulebook, and I'll just quickly zoom in on that. As you can see, in a two- or three-player game, you're going to use uh, seven different formulas. A formula is a set of cards. And I'll pull out an example here that we're not using for this game. A formula includes a toxic card and then the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 with it. We are not using this eighth set because in a 2-3 to three player game you only use 7 different formulas. So this eighth formula is completely out of the game. We are not going to use it. Again, a formula includes the toxic card, similar to these, and then numbers 1 through 7. Those are the antidote cards. The number on them is the point value. So if you, if, let's say that this is the toxin, and I have this in my hand at the end of the round, I score a point. However, if Ida Lee had the 7 in her hand at the end of the round, she would score 7 points. Even though we both guessed the correct antidote, she would score seven and I would score one based on that. So this is a formula and each formula has a toxin card and point cards that go along with it. But this is not being used in our two to three player game. So that means there's a one through seven Correct. blue and purple and green. That's and where purple. this deck comes in. I see. So um, worth mentioning, you only use the numbers based on the player count. You'll notice there's no fours in here. No fives, no sixes, no sevens. That is because this is technically a three-player game. In a two-player game, you're going to have a dummy player. Mm. So in a two-player game, and consequently a three-player game, you're only going to include the ones, the twos, and the threes for the toxins that you are including in your game. So this one will have a, there's a blue one, there's, a, there's the blue two for that one. There should, yep, there's the blue one for that one, and there's probably a blue three in here somewhere that I just, yep, there it is right there. Mm -hmm. So there's a one, two, and a three for each of these toxins, okay? 
And we're gonna be dealing this and this and this out. Syringes, these are part of a special action. If you have a card in your hand and you play a syringe, you can do a number of things. With a syringe, you can take a random card from your opponent's hand. You can also uh, exchange a syringe with one of the cards that they've played to their tableau. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself there, but syringes are more like action cards that let you take cards to add to your own stuff. The uh, round plays out like this. Uh, again, turn options. On your turn, you will announce one of the following actions. You'll do one of these three actions. One, you'll uh, announce that you want all players to discard a card. That simply means take a card from your hand and put it in front of you. If it's a toxin card, you're going to play it face down as hidden information. That's what the syringes are for. Syringes allow you to take a card from your opponent's array. And if it's a face down card, I can possibly use a syringe to find out what she's hiding from me. Um, if it's a toxin card, you play it face down in front of you. If it's a number card, you play it face up in front of you. Okay, so that's the whole uh, discard a card. All players will discard a card. Um, number two is uh, trade research. You can do one of two things with this. You can make a deal with another player and say, um, I'll trade you a 3-4-3 three, three, or something like that. Um, and the other option is just rotate. Every, every player passes a card to their left or right. Okay, and that includes the dummy player in a two-player game. Mm. So the dummy player is going to have a hand of cards that we won't see. And as we take that action, some of his cards will rotate to us so that we can find out more information about what's hidden. And I know it's kind of confusing, and it'll make more sense when you see it. This is the kind of game that takes a, a play or two to fully understand it. Um, worth mentioning, aside from all of this, there are expansions in the box inherently, but they are not supported in a two-player game, which is unfortunate. There's the placebo cards, for example, optional but not available in a two-player game. Um, you would place these face down in front of you like a toxin card, and if your opponent takes one with a syringe, oh, it's a placebo. Now the owner of the placebo gets a special thing. So it's like a trick. You're tricking your opponent into possibly drawing this. There's these lab romance cards, which give you extra points for various things. These are not, uh, again, supported in a two-player game. There's clinical trials that you can include. Uh, there's also, like, ID cards. So unfortunately, all of these not available in a two-player game. It's, it's unfortunate. Um, and then these, of course, are the rest of the cards that we are not using. All the fours, fives, sixes, and sevens for these toxin cards here because we're only playing a three-player game. If we were playing a four-player game, we would take all the fours out of here and include them in the deck. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, and the number of syringes, again, is based on the chart in the rulebook. You'll see a little chart there in the rulebook. We are using a total of three syringe cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and do setup, and I'm going to do this on camera because it, it is confusing. I had to reread things a number of times. So what's going to happen is, this is the deck of all the different numbers. So I'm just going to give that a quick shuffle, 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 awful shuffle. No, I'm good. I can shuffle cards. I can shuffle cards. All right, good enough. So what's going to happen is, we are going to randomly, I'm just going to, whatever, you, you're going to pick the card as well. Do not look at it. Like, just pick one and keep it face down. Don't, don't look at it, nothing. That is the toxin that we will try to identify at the end of the game. And I'll put this off to the side so it doesn't get in the way. You should put the placebo stuff away. I will put the placebo <laughs> stuff away. Thank you very much. Even though the camera can't see it, I appreciate the, the thing. Okay, so the rest of these, we want to keep that face down. And these syringes, we're going to put in there and shuffle these up. Okay, I have to be careful not to accidentally look at a color when I shouldn't. Okay, so there we go. So uh, what's going to happen is, from these toxin cards and syringes, everyone is going to get three cards, including the dummy player. So that is part of your starting hand. Leave that there for now. Okay. 
Then you've got the number cards that we kind of shuffled. Well, I kind of shuffled. <laughs> We're going to just deal this out. I believe it's 777. Seven, seven. So there should be 21 cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't make fun of my. Sh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're Equal. Fine. All right, so now our hands have a combination of number cards and possibly some toxic cards and some syringes in them. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Now, the dummy player for a two-player game will just have their cards kind of splayed out like this. And as we take the action to pass cards left and right, I think, yeah, move those down a little bit. I may have to zoom out just because we're going to have our own little tableaus. Mm -hmm. And we'll do that. Okay, so that's not terrible. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a bit so you folks can actually see more. All right, good enough. All right, and we're going to have our own little tableau. Okay, so uh, go ahead and look at your hand now and okay. keep it hidden from me. And I have these cards in my hand. So I kind of know what is... Well, let's see. Again, the idea is to... Get rid of all... The round ends when everyone's down to their last card. Mm -hmm. And we need to have a number card in there in order to... That's the, that, the last card we have is going to be the antidote. And it we're, cannot be the toxin card. No. <laughs> well, you lose in that case. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So this is what I started with here. These are the two that I were dealt. So um, who wants to go first? Again, these... You can go first. Okay. So I'm going to take the... Um, I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the, uh, trade research and have cards passed to the left. Okay. So that, well, actually I'm going to pass them to the right. So I'm going to give, so you're going to take one from here okay. from the AI and you're going to give me one and I'm going to give the AI one. Okay. So I'm going to give him that one, okay. and then you're going to take one of these ten from him, whichever one you want. <laughs> Can I take that one? No, because I just gave it to him. <laughs> nice fun. try. All right. Okay, and, and that goes into one? your hand. Yeah, that goes into your hand, and yep. you give me one. All right. Um, can I look at it, or do I have to pick one first? You pick pick one first. Pick one first. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh. That's that's yeah. This is hard. I can see kind of where the strategy comes into play, yeah. but it's difficult. I, this is this is a game where you need to play it a couple of times to really get a handle on what yeah. you should be doing and what. Okay, so she's passing me a card. Interesting. All right. So all right, and okay, okay. Um, so now it's your turn. I did my one action, and again, you can have everyone discard a card. When you discard a card, by the way, mm -hmm. the AI does not do any of that. You see. That way, it'll always have all the information available to everyone should we want it. Discarding a card means taking everyone takes a card from their hand and puts it in front of them into their tableau. Toxin cards are face down, number cards are face up. Oh, interesting. So hidden in, toxic, tar, toxic cards are always hidden information on the table. Syringes, if you have any, again, can be played to take a random card from my hand. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll do, I'll do the passing. You're going to do the passing, the passing again. passing thing. All right. So you're going to give one to him. Okay. I'm going to take um, that one from the AI and I have to give I'll you a card. Okay. Not, yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to give you one. Yeah. Give me one. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a little confused as to how. You can only get one card left, but that's on the on the action turn, right? The discard a card action. I see. Yeah, when you start discarding cards, that's when. Okay. Okay. So interesting. All right. Trying to keep track of what you've been giving me is also. It, uh, yeah, that's because you have to keep track of of what mm -hmm. the AI is getting to. Okay. And this is now your turn. Uh, yeah, so now I'm, you know, I'm just going to move this along and take a uh, discard action. Okay. 
Uh, that means um, if you discard a card, a number card, play it face up in front of you. Mm -hmm. If it's a toxin card, play it face down. I see. So I'm going to play this face up in front of me. We'll play this face up in front of me. All right, and it is now your turn. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. I will. Mm. Okay. I will. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, um, okay, I'm going to do the whole rotate thing. All players pass the card. Actually, do I make a one-on-one -on -one trade? Ooh. Let's try the one-on-one -on -one trade. The, okay, so that means you offer something, but I have the option to refuse it. Oh, and then you would do see. something, then you do something else if I refuse it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, you know what? No, forget it. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let's just do the, the thing I did last You're time. You're going to do the rotate. Okay, yeah, so which way so you going? You I'm want... going this way. All right, so I get to take a card from here somewhere. No, no, no. Yeah, wait. Are you going to give him I'm, a card? I'm giving him a card. Then I take one from him. I see. And then I give you one. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, wait. Let's go with <laughs> get that one. This one? Mm-hmm. And it's my turn. Yes. All right. I am going to. Um, I'm going to discard a card. Okay. All right, your turn. Interesting. Yeah, really. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> this is so hard. I don't know what the strategy is, to be honest with you. I'm just going to do my, do I'll, my I'll best. I'll do the thing again. You, you like that thing, don't you? I like, that. I like All that. All right, so I'm going to take that one. You have to give him something. Oh, okay. And then I give you something. Okay. Um, um, okay, so let's do that. <laughs> okay. Your turn. My turn. All right. Um, I kind of want to do that again. So I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you this one. All right. And I'm gonna take this one. And I have to give him something. You have to give him something. Okay. I will give him. What the heck am I gonna give him? Oh. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna push that because I don't want to accidentally flip that over. All right, my turn. Uh, it is your turn. Okay, I will discard a card. Discard a card. All right, so I'm going to discard a card as well. Yes. All right. Um, so technically, you're supposed to reveal them at the same time, but sorry. as a learning game, it's... Yeah. Yeah. All right, my I turn. Can, I can see the strat in that, like if you wait for the other person, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to... I want a card from here. Okay. So I'm going to pass you that, and then you give, but you don't look at it first. Oh, sorry. Give him something. All right, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll just give him. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to discard. You're going to discard again? Yes. Okay. Um, I will then do... That one. Mm. All right, I am going to. Uh, I'll do this again, okay. and. So I have to give the thing a card. Yes. So. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. I'm gonna give you that one. Mm -hmm. Don't look at it yet. I'm not. And then I'm gonna take. I don't. I forgot what has been taken at this point. I'll just take that one. Okay. Well, not helpful. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. I will discard. You're going to discard something. Oh. Yeah, I'll discard a card. Okay. 
sorry, same time. Yep, same time. <laughs> okay. All right. I am going to... Hmm. I'm going to use a syringe. Okay. And I'm going to take a card randomly from your hand. Okay. So, just that one. Uh, how many cards do you have? Four. Four. Okay. So, how does... I think... Let me just see how that plays out. I took that one. Uh, syringe, syringe. Steal a card. If you steal a card from their hand, choose the card randomly. If you steal a card from their workstation, select... Place your syringe card in place of the card you stole. Uh, face up if in their workstation. Hold on a minute. We should have the same number of cards at all times, I think. Yeah. At least that's what it says, anyway. Uh, reveal a syringe card from your hand to steal a card from any other player's hand. If you steal a card from their hand, choose the card. The directions for this game suck, for the record. I'm just going to say that. Um, so, to keep... I'm guessing this would go face up in front of me to keep the same number of cards. Well, the syringe gets done, right? Yeah, the syringe is in here. So, I'm thinking... Wait, doesn't the syringe get discarded? It says to place your syringe card in place of the card you stole, face up if in their works. So place your syringe card in place of the card you stole. So wait, you get the syringe? I guess. Yeah, so That's that way, that way it's, yeah, it says, it says place your syringe card in place of the card you stole. Oh. Face up if oh. in their workstation. Interesting. Oh, I see. So, um, that means, so I keep this card in my hand, and now we've got an even number of cards again. I see. So I used a syringe, and I guess I just exchanged it. I see. And I gave it to you. Interesting. Okay. Your turn. Oh. Okay. Um, I will... Discard a card. Discard a card. All right. Um, I'm gonna discard. Uh, same time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> Remember the orange. This is a quick look at what's in the game. Yeah. Um, I'm looking to see what hasn't been added to the array <laughs> yet, and I don't know if I'm liking it. Like all of them, it's difficult to tell. It is. All right. Um, so it's my turn. Mm -hmm. I... I'm gonna cry. No. Okay. Um... <sighs> wow. I am going to uh, rotate. Okay. So I'm going to give him this one. And I'm going to take... Which one haven't I seen yet? I lost track of which ones I've given and which ones I've taken. I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna do that one. Mm -hmm. And then you get to pick one from him. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. Um, you picked from him. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, correct. So you give me one. Yeah, I'm going to give one to the tableau. So you take one of these and you give me one. Okay. I'm going this way. Okay. All right. So I have to give you You one. have to give me one and take one from them. Okay. Um, ooh. <laughs> okay. I'll give you. I'll give you this one. Hmm. How nice of you. And I will take. Oh, I don't even know. I'll take from here. All right. Okay. So that goes there, and I get this. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um. So it's your turn. Is it? Yeah, because I just did that. Okay. I'm going to discard. All right. I'm going to put this up here because oh, folks sorry. can't see down there. Mm -hmm. All right. I put that face down, just FYI. Mm -hmm. All right. My turn. Mm -hmm. um, <sighs> okay. I, I honestly don't know anymore. Um, I feel like I'm going to go this way with it and give you something, but... Um, Dangerous. You. Okay. I have an idea. All right. I'm going to give you this one. Don't look at it yet. Oh. I'm going to take one from here. Uh, and then you give the uh, AI something. 
I forgot what I did at this point. All right. Okay. My turn? Yeah. I'm going to <sighs> discard. I'm going to discard. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to play that one. Okay. I am going to... <laughs> So, huh. you know, I'm just going to go for broke on this because I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm just going to, I don't think I can do that though. Um, how do I, all right, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to rotate uh, this way. This well, way? No, I'm going to rotate this way. I'm going to give him a card. All right. Because I don't want you having that. Okay. Uh, so you take one from him and you give me one. Okay. And I give you one. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not the one I picked up for the record. Okay. Okay. Now it's my turn. It is. I'm going to discard. You're going to discard. Yes. Okay. Uh, what happens when... Can I discard that? Um, what happens when I discard that? Um, the, the syringe? Yeah. I don't... Can you? I think you can. These rolls are just awful. Okay. Oh. Discard a card. One card from their hand. X cards must be discarded face... All other cards must be discarded face up. Okay. Yes. So I can just... I'll just do that. I'll just do that. Okay. And All now right. we have one card. And left. now we reveal it to okay. see if what okay, so I have the pink three. I have the yellow two. The green two. The green two, sorry. Alright. So I picked the pink antidote mm -hmm. and you picked the green antidote. Before we even look at this, why don't we make it fun and reveal these <laughs> one at a time? Oh, crap. Just to see okay. if any toxins come oh. up. <laughs> I, that's the information I had at the very beginning of the oh, game. Oh, you lucky. You lucky. But I don't think... Okay, blue three, syringe... I think you won that. It was either pink or green. I oh. wasn't sure. I didn't have... I had... I saw a total of two toxin cards. Really? So I was relying on what was... I had like three in the beginning. Seriously? Yeah, three or four. <laughs> Dang. All right, so the good. mystery card is pink. Very I good. drank the correct one and would have gotten three points. You would have... I don't know if it's minus two or what, but yeah, you're dead. <laughs> I'm dead. It technically, yeah, you get negative points based on the cards. So that would be a negative two for you and a positive three for me. <laughs> and then we would play this two more times, and whoever had the most points would win. Mm -hmm. I, I was surprised it was pink because you put out two pinks, and I was like, maybe he saw a pink, uh, a pink X. I was hoping for point. that, yeah. to be honest. That was, I, good. I, I was That was a Hail Mary. I didn't know. I had this in the beginning. The wow. only other card I saw was uh, which one did I see? It was, <laughs> it was oh, this and this. These are the other two I oh, saw. Oh wow, yeah. But I wasn't sure. Like I'm pretty sure you knew these already. I did not know the teal until much later. I gave the 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 guy the these three, uh -huh. and I think the purple one too. Oh, I really thought it was the green one. I never saw the green one. <laughs> that was, that was... Yeah, there were a lot of greens out here. I'm thinking, well, if I can hide yeah. the green cards to the AI and she just doesn't pick them up, yeah. maybe that was good. Maybe she'll think. I don't know. Uh, good. So I can kind of see the strategy in this. Mm -hmm. um, one complaint I have is the rule book is not 100% clear in a lot of places. And complaint number two, you've got all these cool modules, mm -hmm. but not supported in a two-player game. So if, if you're looking to get a two-player game, you're going to have to stick to the base game. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. What did you think? It was okay. I like other deduction games better, but it was you, okay. You prefer like awkward guests or something yeah. compared to this. Yeah. This had a little bit of take thatty with the syringe. Yeah. And you, his bluffing 
something I so hate. <laughs> it has bluffing. I want a straight up logic deducing game, but this had bluffing in it and uh -huh. it, it hurt. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it was fun. It Some was of the fun. strategy is, uh, my problem with games like this is the memorization. Yes. I don't <laughs> memorize very well. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm remembering what I've seen and given and I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. I was just throwing Hail Mary passes and hoping that I would get lucky and I did. Yeah. Um, I just, I, I based my on the fact that there's no pinks out there. So <laughs> maybe, that was good. maybe, you know, she saw some of these other colors. I knew I had seen that one mm -hmm. and I, yeah, and you had nothing else. And I seen that one, yeah, that one and these two. Yeah, I think I shot myself in the foot when I put the threes out there and I was like, okay, maybe that maybe confirmed his thing. Maybe, <laughs> but I don't know. Like I wasn't sure I, I can use syringes I could have used a syringe to take, like, my thought was holding a syringe until the last second. Yeah. And then stealing a card from your array if I needed to. Uh, at least to, like, so let's say it was a blue instead. Yeah. I could have used the syringe to get the blue card. Mm. And possibly collect that. I'm not sure how that works. But, mm. again, I, I don't think the rule book explains it all that well. Mm -hmm. But would I play this again? Probably <sighs> sparingly. I mean, it's a cool idea. Yeah. I like the idea of it. It's just a shame that, A, like I said, the two-player version is exempt from all of these cool expansions. And, B, like, the rule book is kind of half, you know what. Yeah. For me, I think this would go in the salt pile just because there are other games that are better than this. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Awkward guess. Mm -hmm. um, I think Alchemist. you're a lot. Alchemist. Clue. <laughs> Clue. I love Clue. I, I can't stay. Clue's okay, but I'd rather play, like, uh, Clue the Great Museum Caper. I would prefer, like, uh, I don't know, hidden movement mm -hmm. games over something like this. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not bad. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. I just wish it were done a little differently to be a bit more enjoyable. Yeah. I think other people would probably enjoy this more than I would, and that's why I would put it in the salt pile. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> well, that was Antidote. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date. With any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch y'all next time. Bye, guys.